is Grace if I'm talking kind of quiet. Everybody's still asleep. So I'm trying to get up and get this done this morning. So I just woke up so y'all excuse how I look. But happy Wednesday. Y'all grab you a cup of coffee and we're going to get into this devotion. Today's devotion is going to be Romans chapter 5 verses 3 through 5. So, it says here, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patient experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. So, what it's talking about there is having joy in hard times. You know, that seems like when we have the hardest time believing and keeping our hope and keeping our faith through hard times. So, faith allows us to hold on to the hope that Suffering isn't the end of our story. I know I've been through a lot of hard times. And just to be honest, if it wasn't for the fact, even though I wasn't living right and doing what I needed to do, I still had my faith that God would bring me out of it. And that was the only way I got out of it. I prayed and I prayed. And I prayed. And eventually, he brought me out of it. But sometimes we have to suffer. Sometimes that suffering and those hard times is what brings us back to him. Sometimes he it has to happen. I know it don't make sense. I know it don't. It don't have to make sense. You just have to trust him. So because we know that God works within our difficult situations, we can have patience and perseverance for God to complete his work. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, as the world's worst, have not have any kind of patience at all. You can ask my husband that. <laughs> but perseverance refines our character. As we wait on God, we become people who look more like Jesus, and our trust in God grows stronger. This increases hope in us, it's not easy when you see suffering from God's perspective. We begin to realize that he is working to bring glory in every situation. God has shown us through the Holy Spirit that he loves us. He suffered and gave himself for us. So we could have a relationship with him. He will continue to give us everything we need to live a life that honors him. There's a song that I used to sing in church. Um, it's called God Will Make This Trail a Blessing. Y'all need to look it up because it goes right along with this. It's um I'm trying to remember the verses of it. I can't remember all it's been so long since I sang it. It said God will make this trail a blessing. Though it sends me to my knees. Those my tears flow like a river, yet in him there's sweet relief. There's no need to get discouraged. There's no need to talk defeat. God will make this trail a blessing, and the whole wide world will see. It's a pretty good song. Can't remember all the words to it. I think I get them kind of mixed up, but y'all look up God will make this trail a blessing. I don't know who sings it. I just remember my mama singing it and just kind of grew up singing it but it's true and you know that song has got me through that song right there has got me through a lot of hard times because every time I went through a bad time that song would always pop in my head and I'd start singing it and it's just got me through so much to keep that hope to keep that faith through hard times so consider how God is working in your life, even through 
difficult seasons. And that's the thing. It's a season. It ain't gonna last forever. It's a season. You have seasons in your life. They come and they go and they change. It's not the end of your story. And think about the ways God has poured his love into you through the Holy Spirit. And ask him for strength, persevere, and let that perseverance develop into a strong character that hopes and trusts in God. Even in the hard times. And when persevering gets difficult, hold on to this truth. God has given everything for you. And he will never, ever leave your side. Ever. He's always there. All you got to do is talk to him. And I know sometimes it may feel like he ain't listening. But I promise you, he is. Trust me. He's listening. But I hope this devotion helps you somebody out today. Maybe you're going through a hard time and you just don't understand why. But just keep holding on to your faith and that hope. And keep praying and trust that everything's going to be okay. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this devotional. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.